When we launched this show about 16 months ago, this was the kind of story I had in mind. Uh, the Royal Kew Gardens are set to hold an exhibition called Queer Nature at the end of the month. The event promises to break the binary and challenge traditional expectations by showing how fungi and plants have a special connection to the LGBTQ community. Queer nature to me is, is basically a very apt description of nature. For me, queer nature is about rethinking how we see the world around us and our place in it. Viewing the world of nature as queer is an act of freedom and liberation. Well, the event promises to bring together horticulturalists, scientists, authors and drag artists, even featuring a performance from a bearded lady and a DJ who will play queer sets. My question for all this is why? But let's get into the weeds of the debate with Outkick host Tommy Lahren and the comedian James Barr. James, welcome back. Sorry, did you launch this show with the idea of talking about gay mushrooms? Yes. That's why you launched if this show. I have you some gay mushrooms here. Minister, you just wanted Ooh, to do a segment about you. queer mushrooms. Thank you for teeing, teeing up my gay mushrooms. Wow. They don't look very gay. Wow. I mean, they look like normal mushrooms to me. Well, Are you feeling a gay connection to these mushrooms? Listen, I feel a gay connection to a lot of things, Piers, including yourself right now. Really? I, um, I would say that mushrooms scientifically have about 23,000 different genders. So that's where this exhibit, exhibit is coming from. 23,000 genders of mushrooms. Exactly. Okay, There's not, mate. This is a mushroom. No, well, ask a scientist if you don't believe me. I'm not... I've got to ask a scientist. This is called a mushroom. That's yeah, it. but they're, like, they're fungi... Well, and they're sexual different... about mushrooms. What? Sex is not about mushrooms, no. Uh, it's so why are we having we... some queer celebration of things like mushrooms? I just don't understand why you care. Why is this such a problem? I care because I don't see the bounce of it. <laughs> because, well, it's We've just had, pride, we just had Pride Month, where the entire month oh, was God. taken up with turning everything LGBTQ, and now it's two plus something else, right? It's extended. Listen. Piers, right? So letters I can't even remember. The rest of the year is Why great. does Kew Gardens have to go queer? I don't get it. Why can't it? Why it, should it? it? Well, because Why it's can't we just have straight plants? Because I say what it's doing, it's making queer people feel happy. And ultimately, isn't something... Sorry, but society shouldn't just be about thing? changing everything so that you, James Barr, get your kicks out of looking at a kinky mushroom. Listen, you might want to spend your life being miserable, but I'll tell you what really I'm is very happy. I'll tell you what's actually what happening. Like yesterday, you lost an NTA to a gay man, so you've decided to find any story you can to attack queer people because you want to get your I own back on Graham Norton. I hadn't actually thought of that. That's but exactly yes. what's happening. It, it is true. It is entirely Graham Norton. Sad. It's entirely Graham Norton's sexuality that enraged me. Uh, let's bring in Tommy Lahren. Uh, Tommy, I just don't know where we start with this. Kew Gardens is like the, is like the <laughs> epicentre well, hey, of British heritage. The establishment. It's like you go there with your mum and dad, you take your cucumber sandwiches and you look at lovely plants. What you don't do is think about their sexuality or 23,000 genders or have a queer celebration of mushrooms. What is happening? Well, I'll tell you this, what concerns me is if there are 23,000 genders for mushrooms and fungus, I'm a little concerned because the LGBTQ plus barbecue is already too long for most <laughs> Americans and most people to memorize. So now if we have 23,000 genders added to that, I'm not sure we want to take our cue from plants. But you hit the nail on the head, Piers. Why does everything have to be about queer this, gay that? Why is that the only thing that leftists seem to respond to? It's either race gender or climate change race gender climate change that's it everything has to be gay everything well, we actually has to be have about had, race we have everything had a has whole... to be about the planet yeah there has been a whole debate actually about whether plants are racist i remember that one as well the the, the thing about this that's probably a debate that you had though no, but the, the thing about this james is i just i just don't see the point of it other than to wind people up which I think you're almost admitting. No, like, absolutely not. It's not winding anyone. But imagine, if I, imagine if I announce tomorrow we're going to go down to Chelsea Flower Show and we're going to have a straight day yeah. where straight people like me but you're missing will go... Point. Straight people like me, who, by the way, for the record, are not remotely homophobic, right, go down to Chelsea Flower Show and we make everything about the you straight did, you sexual you affinity... Did, you did just Hang say on. Graham Norton's sexuality Hang... enraged you, so... No, no, it was obviously a joke. Was it? Well, you, you made a be... stupid, facile to... point about his sexuality. Interesting. But I don't care whether he's gay or not. I care that he beat me. That, that pisses me off. But let's go back to the Chelsea Flower Show. If I had a straight day or a straight week at the Chelsea Flower Show and started talking about the straight heterosexual affinity that we all felt with fungi and daffodils, you would go completely nuts. I really wouldn't. And I said, look at these white, straight gammon abusing us in this manner, Listen, excluding us in this manner. If you and Tommy want to set up a straight mushroom exhibit with loads of straight, grey, boring, binary mushrooms 
waving, I'm not doing it. Waving guns around, like, James, go for it. I'm not doing it. It's it's your community that's it's doing not, it. Listen, you're the one that's hosting a debate on an international platform about mushrooms. Yes. Gay mushrooms. Because the event is happening. Gay mushrooms. When, when I was I'm younger, not calling them gay mushrooms. Said, what do you want to do I when you're older? I don't think mushrooms can said, be you know gay. What? I want to defend queer it's mushrooms. It's not a gay mushroom. Look, you just eat it like a mushroom. <laughs> Right? Wow, I hope you enjoyed They're that. They're not poisonous, huh? <laughs> you know you're what? never queer because you can catch queerness from a mushroom, by the way. Tommy. That's it. I just I think, Tommy, my overriding view, like you said, everything has to be reduced to this kind of stuff. It is pandering, virtue signaling nonsense. But what worries me is that the corporate world, like Q Gardens and their management, they get sucked into this. They think it's a good idea. Whereas I can imagine lots of people who attend these events will be thinking, what is going on? Why are they doing this? Yeah, I think it's just out of step with most, most people. I don't know why everything has to be about sex, sex and sexual preference. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't think most human beings go about their day worried about the gender of a mushroom or a fungus or what gender they prefer to sleep with. I don't know why everything has to be reduced to this. Can we all just go about our lives? It hasn't been until 2020, I believe, that everything had to be about how you identify and what pronouns you use. Can't everything just be as it is without having to dissect the heterosexuality, their homosexuality, or the queerness of everything, give everything some kind of a queer rating. I, 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 why do you keep totally going back to why do you keep plants about for what it? We're running are. out of time. James, final question, and make it a quick answer. What is the gayest plant? <laughs> I honestly, I'm not answering that. Do you know what? All why plants not? are gay. Everyone is, every single person on this planet has different, uh, different You're identities not going to name a plant? To celebrate. Is there not one that you think... I, I guess a daffodil is pretty a daffodil. gay. I like a daffodil. A gay daffodil. Yeah. All right, well, on that bombshell, we'll leave it there. Tommy, thank you very much indeed for joining me. It's nuts. We know it's nuts, but James will keep coming back to defend the nuts, and that's why I like him.